Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Insurgents. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we stopped the auger from getting assassinated. Today we're gonna make our way back inside of Shade Forest and start running through this place so we can meet up with our boy Damien. If you guys remember, after saving the auger, our boy Damien told us to meet up with him in Midna Town. So that is where we are headed. We're gonna be making our way back through all the caves and all the routes and all the craziness here. Till we can meet up with our boy. So let's go ahead and enter back in the cave, which we were at. If you guys remember, we were previously at Telnor Cave, but we had to turn around to help the auger. So our boy Damien was like, let's get out of here. Let's go help out the auger. Let's be good people of the region. Let's be good citizens of the region. And let's go and see what we can do. This is a Cubone, level eight. This is actually a pretty cool Pokemon to find here. I wonder if I could catch this Pokemon. I think catching this Pokemon could be very, very good since at the current moment, we are at a really hard disadvantage with Pokemon and I would like to add some Pokemon to our team since things are definitely going to be getting tougher and it's very, very good that we ran into this Cubone then because I do have a couple Pokeballs. So let's go ahead, let's chuck our Pokeball and let's cross our fingers and see if we can add a brand new Pokemon to our team, ladies and gentlemen. And with that, gotcha, Cubone was caught. So, we got ourselves a Cubone, and that is very, very cool. That is not a Pokemon I was expecting to add today, but I will most likely be very content with us adding a ground type, because you never know what kind of Pokemon we'll be facing. It is the lonely Pokemon, and would I like to give the Cubone a nickname? We are gonna give this guy a nickname. I'm gonna call the Cubone Bo. So, with that, guys, welcome. Bo the Cubone to the team. Let's keep moving through then, ladies and gentlemen. We already caught our first Pokemon, and that's very exciting. I'm happy to be catching more and more Pokemon. Thank you guys so much for all the comments and suggestions you guys left me on what Pokemon we should add to our team. Those considerations are with me, so I do know which Pokemon you guys do want me to add. It's just a matter of me finding those Pokemon and bumping into them. I've been doing a little bit of exploring around here around the first couple areas to try to get a feel for it to see what Pokemon around here and to train up my Pokemon a little bit so I haven't trained Daruk a whole lot but I've trained him up like a level which takes a bit if you're just out here training with random Pokemon in the wild so that's given me a bit of a taste for what Pokemon are located here in these places so it's cool that we will have the chance to catch some very different Pokemon. I can tell that the Pokemon that they're giving us at the beginning of the game is already much different than some of the Pokemons you would see in regular Pokemon games. So you're gonna have the advantage here to build a much stronger team from the beginning, and that is something that I am very much looking forward to. I love building strong and diverse teams, and that's what I'm all about. So we made it to the end of Shade Forest, and we have officially made it to Route 1, ladies and gentlemen. This is it, we're here. It's got a little bit dark around here. I've been doing a lot of training, and I've trained up our bow to level 12. So now we have Daruk at level 14 and Bo at level 12, which is gonna be very, very good for us to continue here in Route 1. So let's go ahead and jump into our first battle with Bo, and let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be a lot of fun getting to add more Pokemon to our team. I'm definitely looking forward to it, and let's go ahead and see what we can do. We're going up against a Murkrow level 10. So from the start, we're gonna be going up against Pokemon that we are at a type disadvantage with the Rook. So it is a really, really good thing that we brought in Bo, because now we're gonna be able to fight some of the Pokemon that we previously wouldn't have been able to. As you saw, I also have the move Bone Club, which is what we came with, and I just recently learned Headbutt once I leveled up. So just a little bit of training is what I wanted to do to ensure that our Pokemon are gonna be able to proceed through this route, since this game has been pretty tough. We defeated Young Sir Taylor, and the Dark Types will not be giving us that much trouble anymore with Bo on our side. So let's continue running through here then, ladies and gentlemen, and see what kind of craziness we can find. In Pokemon Insurgents, we're gonna have another battle coming up. Now, I do have a couple potions and everything ready to go, so we should be good to battle any opponents that are coming our way. I'll leave Bo up in front for now, and we'll switch into Daruk when we need to. So let's go ahead and jump into the next one. There's been a lot of dark type trainers so far here at the beginning of the adventure. It's almost like they know which starter Pokemon we chose, which has made it harder for us. 
Oh, we're going up against a Machop. Let's go ahead and see what our Bone Club does. I really like ground type Pokemon, so having Bo here with us from the beginning of the adventure is going to be great. As I mentioned to you guys, I have received all the suggestions from you, and it's just a matter of bumping into those Pokemon, and it'll be, you know, for us to find out where I do find these Pokemon. I'm looking for a fighting type, which you guys suggested, and you guys suggested a flying type as well. So those are the two Pokemon that I'm on the lookout for, most of all. Jigglypuff is level 11, and I'm feeling really, really good right now going up against these Pokemon. The thing about Jigglypuff too is that it is a fairy type. So going up against Daruk, Jigglypuff would be doing some serious damage. So it's a really, really good thing that we have Bo here to tank out some of this. Our attack fell a little bit. That's okay. I'm going to go for the headbutt. And let's see if we can take down this Jigglypuff. We are almost there. I'm going to go for that headbutt. And the Jigglypuff is down. So let's keep on moving through Route 1. This is what I'm talking about. Bo grew to level 13, is trying to learn Leer. Yeah, we'll make room for Leer. We'll make room for Leer. I'll get rid of... We'll get rid of... Tail Whip. I think Leer is just a bit better. So with that, guys, we'll get ourselves Leer. And Bo is whooping some Pokemon down for us. Thank you so much, Bo. We would have been having a difficult time with the Rook here. Let's move on through, then. And see how many more trainers we are going to have to challenge here on this route. The more trainers we battle, the better because we really do need this XP. Whenever I catch a Pokemon, I'm gonna either take a little bit of time to train it up and catch it up to levels, or I will just keep on going in the adventure, depending how we're doing. For this time around, we really did need a train up, so I decided to make sure we were doing that. Oh boy. This Execute is making an uproar, and I don't like that one bit. I'm gonna go for the Leer here, and I'm gonna start preparing this Pokemon to get taken out by Daruk because I do not think Bo is going to be able to hold on against it. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring Daruk out and let's start the heat. Let's bring the fire and see what we can do against an Execute level 11. I'm going to go for our Twister. We're close to level 15 as well. So hopefully we'll be learning another move very soon. It's great that we don't get affected by the uproar too, since we are a ghost type, so we'll be able to just push through a little bit. We should be making our way to the next town shortly after this, or at least I hope we will, because we could really use a trip to the Pokemon Center. I love going to the Pokemon Centers, healing up our Pokemon, you know, chatting Nurse Joy. It's just a nice little break from going through these routes and battling all these crazy trainers. We got the XP, we grew to level 15. And I'll take it. This is some really, really good XP. So thanks to you guys that told me I should battle pretty much every single trainer that we come across. And that is what I have been doing. We got ourselves a Great Ball. So we are moving on up. No more Pokeballs around here on this path. Do I go into the cave? Or do I go to the left to that trainer? Let's go into the cave first. The Dark Cave. What is this place? I don't know what to expect here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just doing a little bit of exploration. We're bound to find something inside of the dark cave. An Abra, if you're looking for a psychic type Pokemon, jump in here. An Abra is very, very good. I feel like we should go through here. We've made it to Midna Garden, ladies and gentlemen. Very cool. So, is Midna Garden like a battle area? Are there people just chilling here looking to battle? I saw a Nurse Joy over there as well. I'm gonna go say hi to her. Hey, can you heal up my Pokemon? Yes! Thank you! Thank you! That's exactly what I needed! We don't even need a Pokemon Center now. So we're A-OK. -okay. There's a hidden grotto around here somewhere. It's a little passage that digs through the trees. So they do have hidden grottos. That's very cool. I hear you can find them. Looking for dark patches, but I can't seem to find any. So you have to look for a dark patch in order to find what they're looking for. Hey, look, a little Bidoof chilling. Hey, what's up with you? Citizens of Minnetown like to rest here with their Pokemon. It's a beautiful place to stay. That makes sense. So this is just a retreat for those trainers from Minnetown. That's very, very cool. 
I like to go to little grottos like this, little areas where you can just chill, where you can hang out with your friends. I remember back in the day having a couple areas of this sort where you could just go and hang out, and only a couple people would know about it as well. So it seems like this is kind of what these trainers are doing here, and there's Joy's kind of here to help them out too, and that makes me very happy. So let's go ahead and make our way back through the dark cave then. The dark cave was not that dark, it was more like the light cave. We had a nice Nurse Joy to heal us up along the journey. And now we are good to continue on. You're not gonna battle us? Hmm. Say, young one, would you like to trade Pokemon? The one Pokemon I'm really looking for is Totodile, but I can't find one anywhere. I'll trade you my rarest Pokemon for one. I wish I had a Totodile, dude, but I don't. If you guys know where I should find a Totodile and what Pokemon he's gonna trade me, leave me a comment. I can always loop back around if we need to. This is going to be a battle. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and jump into another one of these. A lot of battles here on the first route. I'm really having to focus here on this route. I don't want us to lose. We are not going to lose around here. And my attack missed. And the Porygon is powering up. And my attack missed. Oh, boy. There we go. At least the Bone Club finally hit. We're not in that terrible of a situation. This Porygon does do a lot, though. At least I got it to flinch. Come on, boy. Come on. Hang in there, Bo. Hang in there, Bo. It transformed into a Psychic type. That don't even matter for Bo. Hang in there. Bo's actually a girl, too. So keep at it, Bo. You're doing the right thing. Next up is going to be a Buizel. I am going to switch out for the Buizel, though. Let's bring the Rook out here. If we can get Daruk to level 16, that might be close to the evolution. And if we can hit that evolution early, that's going to be very, very helpful for us. I'm telling you, we need these level ups. So we get tough for ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's go for that Twister Daruk. The Weasel's not going to do a whole lot. I'm feeling pretty good right now. One more move should just do it. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are making some big progress here. We've gained a lot of levels today. I would say that... Today was a very experience heavy day. We gained a lot of XP. Not as much of the story, but that's okay. I'm sure we'll bump into more of the story later on. Another one of these guys? How many trainers are there in this place? The exit is right up ahead, so there can't be many left. Let's go and take on what will hopefully be the last one here. This guy has two Pokemon. One is a Paris. So, Bo, let's go for that Bone Club, man. And it did not do as much as I thought. We are going to be stun spored. Oh, goodness. We really do need some more Pokemon on our team. So, if you guys know some Pokemon coming up in the next following routes that are Delta, that is what I'm on the lookout for, guys. I'm trying to find the earliest Delta Pokemon that we can add. I've also been reading a little bit on the Mystery Gift, and I saw that. They made it so that in Pokemon Insurgents, they were giving out some mystery gifts. But I saw too that it was like during a certain time. So I'm not sure if I can still go back and get those. But if I could, there are some really interesting Delta Pokemon that were being handed out through mystery gift. If you guys got any of those, you know, during the time that they were active, that's very, very cool. I'm all about using Delta Pokemon. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. I feel like having different type Pokemon is always just very fun to the adventure. It's a twist that other games should follow up with. Alola did a little bit of that, but it didn't completely do justice to it. I think they could have gone a lot further and they could have added in a lot more Pokemon than just the handful they added. I would love to see more Alolan Pokemon or Pokemon with different typings in other regions. Hopefully in the regions that we'll be coming up into. I remember when I was a kid watching the Pokemon anime and Ash took a trip to an island where all the Pokemon were pink because they were eating this fruit that made them pink. And then you think about how big the Pokemon world is, this type of stuff should be happening all over the place. So there should be different species of Pokemon everywhere and different typings, just different physical attributes to them. I hope we get to see that. We made it to Midnight Town. Yay, we're here. There's a kid somewhere around here that want to trade Pokemon. If only I could find her, how does she have something rare? 
another trainer looking to trade Pokemon as well. So we are going to keep a lookout for that. You used to participate in the Pokemon races? Pokemon races? Do we get to like ride around on a Ponyta? If we do, that would be super cool. I'll take another Great Ball. They're just handing them to us all over the place right now. So they definitely want us to do something with them. It's really hard to specialize in more than one Pokemon type. People like me choose one to excel in. That makes a lot of sense. Let's see what kind of console he's got. This man got himself a, a, a Nintendo... What is, what is it? A Wii? I can't even tell. It looks kind of like a, a Wii. It could be something else. We'll go ahead and say it's a Wii. They also got themselves some other Pokemon in here. This guy is from Johto. Good to see you. So there are a lot of different trainers visiting this area. Let me talk to this Haunter. The Haunter is not going to have anything for us. You guys did tell me, though, to talk to everyone. I'll trade you my Ghastly for, say, a Durant or a Heatmore? Dude. All right. There were ga- No! No! There were Ghastlies all over Shade Forest. Why would you ever do that trade? It's like, you know, mystery gifting someone or, you know, sending the Pokemon up to be traded and you're giving someone like a Pidgey in exchange for a rare. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, guys. Hey, what's up? You got yourself a Wii as well? Do you want a gift? I have a couple of nice stones. Oh, okay. She just gave me a Firestone. I'll take it. For right now, it's not like we need a stone anyways. Hey, what's up, Unknown? The Unknown's holding an item. We got a Psychic Gem. So that's why you guys are telling me to talk to Pokemon. Pokemon are also going to have items on them. So that's why I'm making sure I go through here and say hello to the people of Midna Town. You're never wrong saying hi to people. You got to be friendly once in a while. You know, it's very good to make friends. Especially if you don't know anyone in the area. And right now, as we travel around this place, we really don't know anyone. I'm supposed to find this girl named Nora for this tournament thing. Do you think you give me a hand? I have no clue where she is. Okay, so we're looking for Nora. We'll have to see where Nora is. She must be in one of these houses. I'm sure we'll find her. We'll eventually bump into Nora. What is this statue of, dude? This is crazy. Oh, it's the second auger. So the second auger has been putting statues up of himself? They say he rode upon Arceus? Are you kidding me? Are these people really believing this guy right now? The auger sounds a little bit wild. I gotta tell you guys that. Sounds like he is a little bit wild. What is this? The Pika Taxi Guy. For the low cost of 500, we'll get you wherever you need to go as long as you've been there before. That's cool, that's cool. VIP Pass lets you travel for free. Yeah. Oh, sweet. So this guy is going to be the flying guy. He's going to take us from route to route, and I'll definitely be using him because there were some good places for us to train. So I got to make sure that we do just that. I remember back when we were talking about how amazing the first auger was, and now it's all about how weak he was and how great the second auger is. Must be a coincidence. Must be a coincidence. I'm gonna heal up our Pokemon then and say what's up, Nurse Joy. I gotta tell you, I saw the nicest Nurse Joy by this little group of people. They were just hanging out. Oh, you know her. She's a friend of yours. That's very nice, Nurse Joy. You know, you have some really good friends. I'm happy to see that. Is this my first time in a Pokemon? This isn't my first time in a Pokemon. I've been to another Pokemon, but you know, I'm interested. And looking around the Pokemon, you never know what it could be. I know that you guys have told me that I'll be able to switch up my clothes and do a couple more things around here. So I'll be sure to do just that. For now, I need to continue looking through here and find where the heck Dora is. 